final table of five is set in the Card Player Poker Tour Caribbean Cruise $1,100 main event. But before play resumed, the Oasis of the Seas pulled into Cozumel, Mexico for a day of shopping, delicious food and drink, and beautiful beaches. Passengers were greeted by a wonderful collection of shops around the port, with plenty to buy from local souvenirs, to luxury items, to delicious steak tacos. While some of the Card Player Cruise group members opted to try their hand diving in the beautiful blue waters off the Mexican coast, a large group made their way to the Playa Bonita restaurant to enjoy giant margaritas, a delicious Mexican lunch, mariachi music, and an incredible view. Card Player publisher Barry Shulman enjoyed his time at the beautiful Playa Bonita, but probably enjoyed the tournament action less after play resumed. Shulman was eliminated on the bubble leaving the remaining five guaranteed a payday of at least $3,720. Surely each will have their eyes on the title in the $13,200 first place prize, however. Here is a look at the final five. The chip leader heading into the final day is Nate Big Country Patton with $437,000. The 26-year-old private military contractor from Auburn, Kentucky solidified his lead by eliminating Shulman on the final hand. Car Player TV caught up with him after play ended to get his thoughts on the day. Oh, I'm absolutely on crowd, cloud nine right now. Um, I'm the chip leader, six-handed, going into uh, my first major oh, tournament. Five-handed five now, I'm sorry, actually. We just lost Barry Shulman in, in the sixth spot. Um, pretty big hand, ace-queen suited versus jacks. All the money went in the middle, and I got lucky and hit, so I'm feeling, I'm, I'm ecstatic, I can't say enough. Right now, just because I'm the chip leader doesn't mean that I have this tournament locked up. It, you know, blinds are gonna be six and 12,000 when we come back, and a lot of people have over 150, some people have 300,000, so it's, it's not anybody's tournament yet. So I think the confidence levels are gonna be high all around. Second in chips is Fred Samalian with 280,000. The 66 year old construction executive from Las Vegas, Nevada has one prior tournament title on record, winning a $200 limit hold'em event in 2003 for $11,900. Bob Deemer will enter the final day in third chip position with 276,000. The 43 year old resides in Pittsfield, Massachusetts and works as a computer programmer for ESPN. Marie Josie McDuff of Montreal, Quebec in Canada sits in fourth place with 167,000. Although the 32-year-old police officer's stack is below the average, she entered the final nine as the second shortest stack and survived a number of all-ins to make the final five. Last in chips is Matthew Burnett, who ended day one and two as the chip leader. Although the 44-year-old Bear Delaware resident will have the shortest stack with 130,000, he brings the strongest tournament resume with 642,000 in prior tournament caches, including a runner-up finish in the 2012 World Poker Tour Borgata Poker Open main event. Stay tuned to CardPlayer.com to find out which of these five players will be the first ever Card Player Poker Tour Caribbean Cruise main event champion.